a better future for our children because that's what they deserve. And at the moment our children are not getting that. They're getting a fragmented system. I actually think it's almost privatisation through the back door, the multi-academy trust. And there's no evidence for it. There's no evidence to suggest that increasing selection through the academy, uh, through the grammar proposals are going to be good for our children. And I want to say a little bit about that because it's not just about our children. They like to think that the Labour Party just talk about the children at the bottom of the room or the children that are not, as they so-called aspirational or not the gifted and talented children. But we know a comprehensive system enables every single child to succeed. talks about in his leadership campaign and why he won a resounding victory is because we talked about a national education service which we make no mistakes about saying a national education service in the way that it links to a national health service because we know the pillars of social mobility are within health, education and housing and you only have to look at what this government is doing to all three of those strands. So one of the things that I'll announce to you today is next week on Tuesday we're having an opposition day debate on schools, on social mobility. And I've worked cross party and I pledge and I hope that all those MPs that have worked with us from all different sides of the, sides of the political spectrum will vote with us next Tuesday when we set out to this government that we want to end selection, no more selection in our schools and let's have social mobility and let's make sure that every single child reaches their full potential. Now, I don't believe like Justin Green and all the Conservatives that somehow teachers and support staff in our schools don't want the best for our children, that somehow we sat there needing to be told how to support children in schools. Because I know that many of you that are sat there today, you went into education not because you're greatly paid, not because somehow it's the utopia of short hours and weekends that are free for your own families. You do it out of a sense of public service out of a vocation, out of wanting to see a better future for all our children. I promise you that I will always give you my support as a Labour Party frontbencher, as a Labour Party MP, because I know as a mother that you have the best interests of my children at heart. So I thank you for that. investment in our schools. We don't need to be spending money on vanity projects where there's no evidence. We know where the evidence is and that's about collaboration, leadership and investment. And I call on the government to listen to all the experts, not just one or two, but all the experts. Even their own social mobility commission yesterday have made a damning report about this government and what they're doing to our educational outcomes for our children. And I'll finish on this point. Today marks a day for International Day for Premature Babies. And my son was born at 23 weeks prematurity. And he spent six months in intensive care. And we were told many times that our child wasn't going to survive. And we were also sat down in what I call the tissue room and told that our child would always need 24 hour care if he did survive. The outcome was very bleak for my Charlie. Now, he's registered blind and he has a statement of special educational needs and he overcame what was a very, very difficult start in life. He's now eight. Do you know what? He's not going to be a grade C to A. Well, to me, he's a massive inspiration. It's an inspiration for all of us. And the fact that he's here, he's breathing, he's great, he's intelligent, he's amazing, is a lesson to every single person out there that wants to aspire just for those kids.
kids that can get that e baccalaureate. Well, I can tell you, my son's a leader. It's an inspiration to me, and it should be an inspiration to everyone. Do not mark my son down because he's not going to get you the A star, because it's A star to me, and every single child deserves the opportunity to be the very best they can be as adults. And I'll